Hello Captains, I am your host Brent Justice and welcome to my channel Just Gaming For Us. In this video we are going to play Star Trek Online and I am going to play the Klingon Defense Force or KDF faction in Star Trek Online but just the tutorial. So this video is part of my series that I am doing where I am going through and replaying all of the faction tutorials in Star Trek Online as of summer of 2020. That way we can get an updated view to see what all the tutorials in Star Trek Online look like right now. The game has been out for 10 years and well those have changed quite a bit since its introduction. In the last video I did the Starfleet faction or Starfleet 2409 faction as it's sometimes called and that was very interesting to see the tutorial then and so you can watch that video as well. This is the second video in the series that I'm doing and this is going to be the Klingon Defense Force. Now, uh, this game has just received a recent update. As of June 30th of 2020, a new update has come to the game called House Divided, A House Divided. It is, this is the year of the Klingon, as Cryptic is putting it. And what that means is that they are making updates to the Klingon faction throughout the year. Well, one of those major updates, revamps you could even say, was just done. So as of June 30th, 2020, the Klingon Defense Force faction tutorial that we are about to play right now has been updated. There's some new cutscenes, there's some new voiceovers, there's uh, reworks to the character models, and maybe even some new content in the tutorial that I've never seen before. So this will be brand new for all of us. So this is a brand new 2020 summer playthrough of the Klingon Defense Force tutorial. And this does contain all of the updates that just came out literally this week of, as of my recording with the update called A House Divided. So this contains those updates. This should be a new tutorial for everybody. So I'm excited to see what this looks like now. Again, I will not spend time in the character creation screen. This is all about the tutorial. So let's get started. Klingon Defense Force. Next. Again, I'm going to choose a default Klingon. I'm going to do engineering because that's what I did in my Starfleet faction playthrough. So here we go. Hit next. I'm just going to take the default presets. We'll do random on everything. Let's go. I'm excited to see what happens with this new tutorial. This is a new cutscene, by the way. So this is very exciting to see. For too long, we have turned our hearts from the path our fathers laid. I have watched you train. I have witnessed your prowess, your victory. Ah! Now it is your duty, your honor, to serve the Empire. Wipe the sleep from your eyes. Wait and remember the call of our fathers. You will be challenged. You will know pain, but you will not bend or break. Fight with passion and earn your place in the halls of Stovacor. By the blood of Kalos, it will be glorious! That was very cool. Serve the Empire. I love that. Look at that logo. That is a sweet logo. That was a good cinematic. It gets us into the Klingon spirit. And of course, remember, uh, you, I could skip it because I've obviously played it before, but no, I want to play the tutorial. You are the second officer aboard a Klingon bird of prey, currently in charge of the Night Watch. You are in command of the ship while Captain Jurlek and First Officer Torah are off duty. Your shift nears its end. Third Officer Lieutenant Kagan 
would like to have a word with you before you leave the bridge. Well, this is completely different from the Starfleet faction already. In that one, we started at the academy as a very low, low-end office. Well, as a cadet, really. And um, we had to go on an officer training. Here, we're starting off on a ship. And we are the second officer, the second in command uh, in a bird prey. So, I mean, we're starting off right from the gate here on the Klingon faction. No messing around. People you can interact with have icons above their heads. Press F to talk with them. So one of the updates that A House Divided has brought with it is new character models, like much better facial um, textures and uh, maybe even animations as well. And, uh, def and new hair. There's new hair options as well. And I am saying that is looking good. For a game that's 10 years old, that's not bad looking. To move, use the W, A, S, and D keys. To look around, hold down the right mouse button and move your mouse. So just like the last tutorial, I'm going to leave the tutorial pop-ups on. Uh, I'm not going to turn them off. Because that is part of the tutorial experience, and I want to experience it all. Anyway, I'm just looking around this bridge because, wow, it is crisp. It looks good. Um... Yeah, this is great. This looks good. Let's uh, talk to Lieutenant Kagan. The end of the shift is near, at last. I have updated the duty logs. Not that there was a lot to report. Still, we have our duties. You will need to approve the logs before the captain arrives. Unless you are fond of cleaning up after his targ. <sighs> Very well. The logs are up on my station now. Use it to transfer them into the record of battle. Battle. The only battle we face is against the forces of boredom. We are warriors of the Empire. We should be finding glory against Starfleet in honorable combat, not flying through empty space. Move to the indicated console and use it to approve the logs. Remember your place, Lieutenant. That will be all. Ooh, I'm a little, uh, direct there. So, um, remember we are at war with uh, Starfleet at the beginning of this just like in the Starfleet faction we're at war with the Klingons. items have a glow around them. Walk up and press F to interact with the console. So of course with the Klingons we are at war with the, with the Federation right now with Starfleet. So that all makes sense and um, yeah I'm just loving how good this looks right now. They've really improved the visuals a lot. Okay, let's uh, interact with this. Approve logs. You have completed a task by approving the duty logs. So Turn this is just contact. this is just Finish introducing the us to the controls of the game. You know how to do things, how to click F, how to select things, how to find things, how to talk to people. I mean, those are basic options you need to know how to do in the game. Uh, by the way, I'm going to read and listen to all the dialogue because I want to get the full experience of this tutorial. I hope the logs didn't bore you too much. I almost fell asleep writing them. If you'd like something more entertaining, I've made some adjustments to the standard disruptor training program on the holodeck. I think you'll okay. find them interesting. Anything would be better than shooting drones. I'll try it. So pretty much like the Starfleet one now, I guess we're going to do some shooting. Oh, this is a new cutscene. That's Captain on the bridge. looking good. Wow. I mean, it's Approach not... Captain and press F to interact with him. It's not anything like a current game would look, but, I mean, it's still very low resolution textures. But um, for for this game, for this game specifically, it's good graphics. It's the best this game has ever looked. Gotta tell you that. All right, talk to Captain Jerlek. Nook, nook. I see you and Kagan kept my ship from blowing up during your watch. Kalos would be proud. I relieve you. Return in six hours, Lieutenant. You are dismissed. Okay, so I guess we're going to go do a holodeck thing, kind of like we did in the Starfleet one, do some practice. But this is cool. It's like we're on board a ship, and we get to, you know, walk around and go places. The colors are just amazing. I'm telling you, they've, did it. they've done a great job in this update. Your current tasks will be displayed here. Again, Proceed down the hall to the holodeck controls. Again, Use all this is to program the holodeck. All this is new because of the House your of Divided update. Shows you where your objectives are. 
An arrow will appear on the minimap if you are far away from your objective. Program the holodeck. The holodeck is initializing. Do not the training program is ready. Ah. You may enter now. Oh cool, we're in a, like a Starfleet you know, starship. In combat, press 1 to use your weapon's primary attack and press 2 to use your weapon's secondary attack. So it's teaching us, you know, how to uh, how to use all the controls, obviously. That's normal. That is so cool. So we're, you know, on a Starfleet ship here taking on some Starfleet. She's not even looking at me. <laughs> I think they have some bugs to work out. Unless it's meant to be this way because the NPCs aren't even looking at the right place. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's intended. If so, that's kind of crappy. While in combat, certain actions are disabled. Once you drop out of combat, more detail about ground combat will become available. Return to the entry door to speak the hover ship and proceed down the hallway to the turbo lift. Makes sense that a Klingon would, you know, practice aboard a Starfleet looking ship if they were in battle with them, you know, at war with them. So I like that. Cross the hallway, enter the crew quarters. Oh, crew quarters. Sleep in your rack. Oh, that's neat. It's like, okay, now it's time to go to sleep. Oh, cool. We can uh, chat with the crewmen too. Our disruptors gather dust in the lockers here. We need to find battle, and soon. Any news from the bridge? Will we be preparing for battle soon? So, of course, the Gorn are part of the uh, allies with the Klingons. I dreamt we hadn't run out of blood wine last week. <sighs> if only that were true. I think Captain Jurlak knows something we don't. Let's chat with all the crewmen before we sleep. Ah, the rock to Gino this thing spits out isn't fit for a targ. It is hard to sleep when we could be in battle at any time. They really want to go to battle, don't they? There is only one worthy human delicacy. It is called Haggis. Somebody likes Haggis. Have you tried that human drink? Prune juice. juice. It's a warrior's drink. Uh, it is a warrior's drink. I love that they put that in here. Absolutely love that they put that in here. That is incredible. Lieutenant Durand's Parmar works on Kronos. I went through training with him. Great engineer. Terrible gambler. Whoever programmed the replicator should be shot. It can't make anything close to decent food. Well, I guess that's everybody we can talk to. I guess we need to sleep in our rack. So that's what we'll do. Time to go to bed. Sometime later. You're like the Sigma. We're ready to receive your prisoner. Acknowledged. We're beaming the piece of Bach talk to you now. I recommend you muzzle him. The sound of his voice is irritating. If he irritates me, I will feed him to my favorite talk piece by piece. Whoa. The galaxy class popped out of nowhere and started firing. Shields! Ray Shields! That is was a nice scene. I liked that. Whoa, just shooting the crap out of him. Holy moly. They ain't taking no prisoners. <laughs> I've never seen Starfleet be so uh, aggressive. Kapla, you're alive. This is First Officer Duran. We have sustained damage from a surprise attack. I oh. need you performing damage control to get this ship back in action. Okay. Yeah. Um, Sometimes missions specialized to your career class are available. I've just never seen Starfleet be so aggressive before. I mean, that was like, wow. <laughs> I've just That was crazy. But I liked it. I liked it a lot. <laughs> so I wonder if we were not engineer, if we'd have different tasks to perform, like maybe healing the people or something. We uh, chose engineer, so that's what we're doing, is engineering things. Whatever you did down there, it's working. 
Here is the situation. We took custody of a Federation prisoner from the IKS Segpa. Almost immediately after transport, a Starfleet cruiser showed up and attacked. We took some severe damage, but we were able to get our shields up before they could beam over. They've launched shuttles and have boarded the ships oh. on the lower decks. So we're going to fight Federation, like now. And I wonder who the uh, Starfleet prisoner Our was. Our security teams are tied up all over the ship, so I need your help securing the lower deck. Grab a rifle from the armory locker and then make your way to the lower decks. I don't know how they were able to enter our shuttle bay, so check the bodies for anything that can give us a clue as to how they were able to board us. One or two of them might be carrying mm. something useful. Interact with the armory locker by clicking on Okay, interact with the armory. So now we're in the tutorial intruder alert. Where would the armory be? Ah, I guess it would be right here. Press Z to switch between your two equipped weapons. I got a batleth too. Um, yeah. I don't want to put the bat. Well, uh, I guess I could. Yeah, I don't need that weapon. Might as well have a batleth. Why not? Yes, now I'm a true Klingon. All right, enter the turbo lift. Whoa, that is that. No, it's just damaged. Thought it was jettisoned into space or something. Okay, yeah, I know. I've done that. Turbo lift to lower decks. Okay, yeah. Actually, I'm going to go with my weapon. Enemies have a chance to drop items. Not too fond of the pulse wave, but I'll use it for now. Find information, loot Starfleet borders. Oh, they disappeared. An item has dropped for you. Move toward the item and press F to loot it. Encoded Federation message, huh? Wonder if we could actually read that now. Nope. Uh, nope, I have to decode it. Okay. Can I do anything here? No. Uh, let's uh, switch to melee for a minute. Can't can't hurt to try. Enemy targets on sensors. The only problem with melee is you got to get right up on them, and of course they're f shooting weapons at you. But as a tutorial, they're just trying to teach you how to use the weapons right now. How to how to fight and use combat and all that. Although they haven't told you how to use the hypo spray yet. I think on the Federation side they did, if I recall correctly. Maybe not, I don't remember. Okay, decode recovered message. I guess we're going to decode it right here on the wall. Please input message for decryption. Decrypt the message. This is Captain Jurlek. I have the prisoner you seek and I do not wish to be captured or killed. I will permit your boarding shuttles to land on my ship in exchange for my release once you have the prisoner. My crew must never learn of this, so arm your boarding parties and expect resistance once you board. Uh-oh. Our captain. Our captain. He's the culprit. You recovered that message from the Federation borders? My suspicions about our Pataka the captain have been confirmed. I've been seeing signs of Jerlik's cowardice and incompetence for months now. But finally... Is the proof I need to challenge him. Uh-oh. I see that you are near the brig. I want you to talk to the Federation prisoner there. Find out why he is so valuable. And then report back directly to me. Kapla! Okay. Well, I want to see who this Federation prisoner is. I'm very interested about that.
I'm actually getting some the lag here. Is still here. Starfleet's rescue attempt has failed. Uh, is this a prisoner? Is who is that? I think that might be Drake. Something on your mind, second officer? <laughs> that look, that look on my face, I love it. You do know your captain's a traitor, right? And now two of you know. <laughs> That's a start. Tell me, does Duran know about Jurlek's dishonor as well? Huh? Yes. Well then. I'm guessing you'll be first officer before too long. I guess maybe can't so. imagine Duran letting something like that slide. So How he's do you know so section much about 31 true Starfleet. It's my business to know things. If I were you, I'd check in with soon to be Captain Duran. She'll probably want to talk about your promotion. Yeah, I'm she's afraid dead. first officer Duran is indisposed permanently. Well, report to the bridge at once. Unless you wish to join her in Stovacor. I might have to challenge the captain. Well, I was half right. Congratulations on your promotion, first officer. That's how I'm working my way up to captain. I guess. One death at a time. That's the Klingon the captain way. captain has dishonored himself. You are the next ranking officer. It is your right to challenge him to a duel. Uh -oh. To the death. If you defeat him, the ship is yours. Go. You know what must be done. I mean, this is this is true Klingon, the true Klingon way. I mean, this is kind of cool, actually. I mean, it feels very Klingon when you play this tutorial, for sure. Get to the bridge. The direction of your objectives also appears on your compass. Yep. Uh, here we go. I gotta face the captain. Although, hmm, I don't know. It took you long enough. Take your station. We have work to do if we are to survive. Well, what are you waiting for? The blessing of Kalos? Do as you're told, or I will find someone who will. I am Turen. I now take my place as first officer. I serve the captain, but I stand for the crew. Oh, you stand for the crew, eh? You think you can kill me and take my command? Duran was a better warrior than you. And she now sings in Stovacor. You will fare no better, whelp. Think. We fight a war we cannot win. Not even Tukuvma could defeat the Federation. And they were far weaker then. Why should we die for Jimpok's folly? So they mention Tukuvma. They bring a little bit of discovery into this. That didn't used to be there. So you are a coward. You dishonor yourself. Young fool! I plan on living a long and prosperous life. I give you one last chance. Stand down, or your corpse will be cooling on the deck next to Duran's. What say you? It's actually too bad they don't give you a choice here to actually decide what you want to do, because it's just going to default here to... I say you belong in Grethor, and I will send you there, but it'd be nice to have a little option to maybe side with the captain, you know? It'd be cool, anyway. Ha! As you wish. I've killed one hero today. Why not litter the deck with the body of another? Draw your weapon, and try to die well. So I, I literally have no chance. I must challenge Captain Jarek and claim command. Enemy target on sensor. He's... Actually going down pretty fast. That was really no challenge at all. But this is a cool cutscene. I guess I'm better fighter than he thought I was. You fight well for a fool. <coughs> well, I guess that's how I take my place. Warrior's death. Well, okay. That's very Klingon, though. Very Klingon. I like it. And that's how I take my place as captain. Very different than the Starfleet faction. Very different. <laughs> ha! 
Well fought! An honorable victory! Under Imperial law, you are now the captain. I will enter the change of command into the record of battle. I am Kagan, son of Kerr. I now take my place as first officer. I serve the captain, but I stand for the crew. Acknowledge. When can the ship be ready for battle? Engines and shields are online, sir. Engineering expects to restore our weapons soon. The cloaking device may take a bit longer, however. I understood. I want this vessel battle ready soon. Well, that's it. I'm, like, in charge now. The Starfleet vessels that attacked us are still in the area, and the Segpa is moving to engage them in battle. There is glory to be found there. What are your orders, Captain? So pretty much I'm completing that mission. Congratulations, warrior. I didn't even realize what level I was. So it sounds like you start off as a Klingon Defense Force warrior. First bridge officer. Then you're a Klingon Defense Force lieutenant. And you get a new ship. And I'm at level 2 now. I'm a warrior. I'm just warrior. Okay. Well, there we go. We're continuing the tutorial. Take command of the ship. Is my ship now. Sit down. Don't sit down. Okay. So that's how you become captain of this ship. Very, very different from the Starfleet faction. Um, wow. Captain, so now we're on the ship. There is no sign of the Segpa on scanners. We do not know if the feds destroyed her. But I suggest we not worry about that just yet. Engines and shields are operational, but we need iridium to facilitate immediate repairs to other systems, and our iridium stores were lost in the ambush. Fortunately, there are some asteroids in the vicinity that might have what we need. Increase your speed using okay, kind of like the Starfleet one, then. We have to uh, find some stuff Kagan that we need. Your crew. Kagan is now one of my bridge officers, so that's good. I'm going to have his power, similar to the uh, to the Starfleet one. I've got high yield. W and S will pitch your ship downward or upward. A and D will turn your ship to the left or right. This looks good, whatever part of wherever we are at the moment. Space looks really good. I mean, the graphics are good here for this tutorial. They have they have improved. Hell, them, full like. stop, Captain. I recommend we use the scanners to see if this contains any iridium. Sure. No iridium on the scanners, but that nearby asteroid field may have what we need. It actually sounds like... Use your minimap or press M to see where your next objective is. It actually sounds like we're moving Captain, through this a little I quicker using than the Starfleet one. To reach the asteroid field. It's like each Press step... Shift plus R will activate and deactivate full impulse. Each step we move to where it's teaching us a new thing is a little bit quicker than the Starfleet one. We move to that next step faster, it seems like. Hell, full stop! Captain, I stopped the ship this time, but from now on you'll be responsible for controlling the speed of the ship. Okay, makes sense. We have found several asteroids that contain iridium, Captain. Weapons are back online. Press the space bar to open fire on a target ship is under attack. Mashka, we found some iridium! Oh, I can't get a lock on it. I have to move around here. Captain, I'm picking up a Starfleet distress signal. Seems that a frigate looking for us took a hit in a nearby asteroid field. They are disabled. They won't be out of action for long. I suggest we put an end to their hunt while we can. What are your orders, Captain? Approach and destroy the frigate. You Prepare for battle. Ten kilometers of an enemy to attack it. Again, this is just teaching us how to use the controls and so forth. Warning. Ship is under attack. Activate high yield torpedo. Target's shields have failed. So 
some Miranda classes. Sir, a Federation repair team just walked in. I suggest we take them out as well. Warning, ship is under attack. Alright, we caught him pretty good. Captain, the feds are jamming our sensors. The we feds. can't get a lock on the sick part while they do. We have mm. determined the location of the ships that are jamming us, however. We should eliminate them so we can continue our search for the Segpa. It will be a tough fight, but the crew hungers for battle. I think we're up for the challenge. Your orders, Captain? I'm ready for cloaking device. device. To hide from enemy sensors. You cannot cloak in combat, and you must decloak first before you can attack. After decloaking, you receive a damage bonus for five seconds. So that's an important part, and I'm glad they say that about the cloaking, you, that you receive a damage bonus after you decloak. A lot of people don't know that, so that's the advantage to cloaking. You get bonuses when you decloak. Let's go a little bit faster here. We'll get into range, and when we get to like seven, we'll Decloak and fire. Well, just a little faster because they are you moving away. Fire until you deactivate your the warning. Ship is under attack. Ooh, I almost got him in one shot. Click on a shield that is low on power to direct power to you. This will divert power from your other shields. It's pretty much telling you everything you need to know, but it hasn't yet talked about the power levels. Which I automatically changed to attack anyway. Nice. We're almost to uh, level 3. Enemy ships destroyed. Jamming effect neutralized. We are clear to resume our search for the seg park, Captain. Your orders? Resume scans. This is Captain Kangar of the IKS Segpa. Where is Captain Jerlek? Well, Jerlek is dead. I challenged the coward for command and emerged victorious. Ha! Finally! That miserable Topa has been a blight for far too long. Congratulations. May you bring glory to your ship and your house. Speaking of which, do you want to join our fight against this Federation Patak? My long-range comms are down, so I cannot notify High Command of the situation. Kapla, our disruptors thirst for more Federation holes to lance. Communications officer, make a report to command. Give them our coordinates and tell them we are moving to assist the Segpa in battle. Helm, set a course to the Segpa battle stations. I will cloak. Captain, the Starfleet vessel is hailing us. Do you well, wish to respond? Actually, this is interesting. Now I do have a, a uh, I do have an option here. I can eat, let them eat static, all hands to battle stations, just ignore them, or I can see what they have to say for the sake of the tutorial. Let's see what they have to say. This is the Federation ship USS Musashi hailing incoming Klingon vessel. Um, this is your opponent, Mushashi. Do you wish Captain, to surrender? Klingon Defense Force reinforcements. Well, the are reinforcements are here. Captain Jerlek, what are you? Wait, where is Captain Jerlek? Yeah, we ain't, he ain't here no more. He's dead, and I'm in command well, now. Well then, I assume you realize how outgunned you are. I don't know. <sighs> I'll the, cut you the same deal I had with Jerlek. Give are, us your prisoner, and we'll let you escape. And yeah, live but, to fight but, another but day. reinforcements Failure are here. To comply means we'll disable your ship and take the prisoner by so this, force. this is a problem, is that this dialogue takes place or overwrites what's happening already in the background. It looks like Starfleet wants a fight. Shall we give them one, Captain? Absolutely. You're a huge mistake. <laughs> well, see, the, pro that's, the problem is, is they already sent reinforcements, and... 
while I'm waiting for the dialogue to take place, the reinforcements are already here fighting the ship, so they have some timing problems with how that takes place. But we're fighting a galaxy class with several birds of prey and a segpaw, whatever it is. What is the segpaw? I'm just curious. I don't know what it is. Well, we absolutely destroyed the ship. Just like completely destroyed them. So there's that. Most missions can be turned in remotely. Click the icon next to the mission to report to the contact and turn in the mission. Yeah. So double click that and we can turn in this tutorial. We are going to stay here while repairs are underway. But you need to get that Federation prisoner to Kronos immediately. High Command is expecting him. You probably want to space him by now. I know I did. But that would be a career-ending move for you. Just get him to Kronos. All right, we're going to get a, some upgraded disruptors and shields. Congratulations, warrior. And we're now warrior level three. But before we move on here to the next part of the tutorial, let's go ahead and equip the better shield and the uh, better disruptors on our ship. There we go, now we're better prepared for whatever is next. So we're still in the tutorial, even though we finished like, there's, there's, it's like these tutorials are like little missions inside the bigger scope of the tutorial. So, you finish one and then you pick up another and start it. The beautiful scene flying into Kronos here, by the way. The Klingon homeworld, this is beautiful. I love this, this looks good. And now we're at the Kronos, I mean this is awesome. So you're the one with my prisoner. Congratulations! We've captured him many times, but no one has ever actually gotten him as far as Kronos before he escaped. He's quite the prize. Beam him down directly to the prison here in First City, and we'll make arrangements for the prisoner transfer. Sure. Beam him down. The prisoner has been received. Oh, now we're going to Kronos ourselves. Cool. So we get to see the home world. This is awesome, right in the tutorial. And it's beautiful. The prisoner has been received and muzzled. Typical human. In love with the sound of his own voice. Oh, some stuffy bureaucrat tried to reach you here. Word about your promotion has traveled fast, it seems. I suggest you present yourself to the High Council. And get the formalities okay, cool. out of the way. So we need to go to the Great Hall and speak to Chancellor Jimpok. I guess that's where we're going to get our like official promotion. Uh, I'm already near the Great Hall. The Chancellor is not far. Or I will take care of my own business. Yeah, fine. So I think we're in an open zone now. I actually think we are. We're, we're in like open zone, aren't we now? Uh, Kronos, Burst City. Yeah, we're in an open. We're in an open instance. So literally, it just drops us. Just like you would be on ESD or Earth Space Dock in the Starfleet Faction. It drops us now into the open world. We can now chat with other players. So even though we're still doing the tutorial, duties of command now, whatever, we can actually go here and if I go to zone, I could chat with zone and say, hi everyone, and you know, actually chat with other players playing also. Whether they're in the tutorial or not doesn't matter. We're all in the open zone at this point. So that's very cool. And a little bit different from the Starfleet faction. And so this tells us where to go. Go to uh, the Warriors Great Hall, blah, blah, blah. Let's, so let's go there and um, see Jimpok. And I like how it tells you where to go. Pretty much this would be like going to see Admiral Quinn. We're doing the similar thing to what that would be in the Starfleet faction. Couple of, see, there's another person playing here. So, um, yeah, this is great. All the way up to Jimpok. Let's see what Jimpok has to say. There he is. The hero that brought us a Federation prisoner. The warrior who saved the Segpa. 
the rightful heir of a starship by right of personal combat. You have done well to start your career. I will be keeping an eye on you and your progress. Kapla, Chancellor, it's an honor to command a ship under your leadership. Now, before you go flying off to find your adventure, there is the matter of your duties as a captain in the Klingon Defense Force. First off, there is the matter of Lieutenant Doran's husband, uh. her Parmach. It is your duty to inform him of her death, Ooh, as you are now her superior officer, even in death. Well, that will be uh, awkward. Locate Chagrin Parmok of Duran and deliver to him news of his Parmok's honorable death. All these Klingon words. I love it. I love it. I will inform him of the passing to Silvacor, Chancellor Jempak. We will then, find uh, Chagrin, Duran's Parmok, working at the exchange. So this is continuing the tutorial. It's going to show us around Kronos and how we find, like, the exchange and the other places around. I want to take a quick look at... Uh, Jim Pock, because he's one of the updates they did for this uh, House Divided update, and uh, his textures, he's looking great. Um, yeah, so we're like literally, at this point, I I don't know if we absolutely need to finish the tutorial or not. You could probably just go off and do your own thing, but I mean, you might as well just finish the tutorial since we're down here. Coming I mean, really like, complete it, complete it, you know, 100%. So we're just going to follow the green line here and continue this. Duties of command, we're going to the exchange and talk to this person. I'll just consider all of this part of the tutorial. But the actual, like, getting on the ground and then flying the ship part of that tutorial went really fast. It's a little short for Rangi. Greetings! I am Farm, a fully certified banker and financial investor. What can I help you with today? Where can I find a Klingon named Chagrin? Chagrin? Oh, right. He's one of the maintenance engineers. Make sure the exchange computers are up and running. Last I knew, he was running diagnostics in the warehouse, located in the back of the exchange. Fine, that's one all I need. Mean. As a first-time visitor to this exchange, you've qualified for a free sample of our fine merchandise. You won't find better quality anywhere on Kronos Warrior. And if you like it, feel free to come back. Like the Grand Nagus always says, the only thing better than a first-time customer <laughs> is a repeat customer. Fine. There had better be no strings attached to this gift. You have received a kit appropriate ah, right. to your profession. So we got a kit Open now. your inventory and double-click it. Well, we don't have a kit frame, but what we do have... Abilities are added to your action bar that you can perform in ground combat. What we do have is this kit module here. We've got some chroniton mine barriers. Alright, so now we got to go to the back of the exchange and see what's going on. Enter the warehouse. You may be asked to choose which officers to bring with you. So now we're going into Choices. a completely different instance. Um, it'll be our own little mission where the other people of the game are not. It's just me. Let's take Chagrin and go. Uh-oh, attend to Chagrin. What happened to you? Nausicaan smugglers. They must have known I was all alone in here. Ambushed me. They're pirates. Robbing the exchange. Someone must stop them. I'm too injured to. I'll deal with these pirates, but when I am finished, you and I need to talk. So, what do I need to defeat the smugglers? Oh, they'll, and the, these would be the smugglers. Okay. They're just all standing here. Very out in the open. Don't forget to take all of the um, items that drop too. They can definitely help you. Yes, I could use my kit power. But they have to walk over to the mines. Speak with Chagrin.
You fight well. You've given me time to recover my strength. But now I must find Majorok and put an end to that miserable Takex treachery! Who is this Majorok? Well, tell them, Shukri. Who am I? Majorog! You're nothing but a smuggling Yinta! No. Wrong as always. I'm the one who's going to kill you. <laughs> a real warrior never lets his prey escape. Well, you that's dare happening. to challenge a warrior of the Empire? He was pretty tough, but we got him. All right, now we got to tell Chagrin about Duran. You said you had something to tell me. I am captain of the IKS Nagagbayal. I am here to inform you that Lieutenant Duran, your Parmok, has entered Stovacor. She died valiantly in battle. I understand. She was a true warrior. Tell me, exactly how did she die? Well, she died challenging her treacherous captain. I killed the Vataka. It is good you were able to avenge her death, but she failed. I will not have Doran denied entrance to Stovokor because she died at the hands of a traitor. If you would have me, I would join your crew and fight oh, cool. by your side in her name. My talents as an engineer are wasted here in these warehouses. Let me battle worthy foes! So Chigan is going to join our bridge officer you team. You will be a captain worthy of my service. We are Congratulations, Lieutenant. Prison. Something I should know about. Cool, so we got that. We got a um, armor we can put on, so let's do that too. And we've got a new weapon. So that will be good. Is that a Federation weapon? It looks like it, kinda. Um, okay, exit warehouse. That prisoner you dropped off escaped with the help of two accomplices. Uh-oh. One was a male Orion and the other a Nasikin. The Orion caused a commotion, filing a complaint regarding a prisoner transfer that never occurred, and then kept shouting until he managed to distract the entire room. Meanwhile, the Nasican made his way into the cell block and shorted out the force field controls. Cameras caught him equipping our Federation prisoner with a holo emitter disguise. The three then escaped into the city in the aftermath. I knew this would happen. Fortunately, I'm anxious for battle. Uh -oh, Security my... cameras caught the trio heading north before they were lost in the crowd. You are to search there for any witnesses that may lead us to their hiding location. I don't care what this prisoner knows. He's been more trouble than his value to intelligence. If he happens to die during capture... There will not be an inquiry. I assumed as much. I think I know where we can start looking for the criminals. I'm listening. The Chamber of Judgment is nearby, close to the Lake of Fire. An old judge I know likes to sit near the lake between trials. He might have seen something, and he's no friend to criminals. If he saw them, he will be happy to bring them to justice. The Lake of Fire is just outside of the exchange. With luck, the judge will be there. And I actually don't like want this weapon because it is Federation I'm seeing now. Let's do something a little more Klingon-esque. Yeah, it's a little more Klingon at least. Alright, let's talk to the old judge. Lake of Fire looks good. Looks good. If you've come to try and curry my favor in the courtroom, you're wasting your time and risking my wrath. We are looking for a trio of escaped prisoners, an Orion, a Nausicaan, and a human. Curious. 
I did see such a trio recently, but thought little of it. On reflection, the human was garbed in a heavy cloak, perhaps to conceal his prison uniform. Did you see which way they went? Indeed. They headed north, then west. They may have sought one of the tailors there to acquire new clothes to disguise themselves. Okay, to the tailor then. So this is basically like a tutorial that's showing us like where everything is at. You know, on Kronos. Because you've got the exchange, you've got the tailor where you can but you know, change your uniforms and stuff. And uh, all the places Head and west stuff. From the courtyard and down the stairs to the tailor. So it's a it's a way for them to show you where everything's at, which is cool because this is a big place and there is a lot here you can do. So that's good. Ask about the escape prisoner. The stranger with the Orion and Nasigan? Yes, they were just here. They made a quick purchase and then made their way to the bar to the west. I Speaking love his uh of new clothes. I could outfit you and your crew in the latest in Klingon. I like the way he's the way the right he's talking. Price. Come see me anytime. That will be Tom all. Is a tailor, and you can visit him at any time to alter the appearance character, of your character all that. and your bridge officers. Now we got to go to the bar and ask. <laughs> what can I get you? Information. Looking for a trio. A human, a Nausicaan, and Orion enter a bar. Ah, uh, yes. There, that's a joke somewhere there. They asked there. about another Orion. A, a fixer named Garat. Then headed downstairs. Syndicate business, I'm guessing. Anyway, their business. Not mine. Okay, I'll check downstairs. Let's see. Talk to Garat downstairs at the bar. So, down here. This way. Just follow the green trail. I forget all this area is down here. I don't ever come down here anymore. A stranger, an Orion, and a Nausicaan. <laughs> Reminds me of a joke I heard once. <laughs> well, yeah, then again, perhaps this isn't the time for such things. You know, I did see such a group. They went into the back rooms right over there, behind those doors. Always happy to help warriors of the Empire with anything they might need. Good hunting. It's good to see citizens of First City who know where their place is. Enter the back rooms. Now nah, I never come down here. Choose officers to join you for this mission. Investigate the old we buildings. We should check them. See where our quarry went. Ah. Uh, it's coming back to me. It's been a long time since I played this tutorial. It's coming back to me now. What's coming next? That is a suspiciously new console for an old building. Ah, uh, defeat the Federation spies. This is a nice weapon. Man, there's a lot of them. It looks like the spies have set incendiary devices to cover their tracks. We should disable these in case they are set to ignite later. Which I just did. Oh, there's more. <laughs> is there another one? Oh, yes, there is. Let's resume our search for the human criminal. That room in the back looks like a good place to start. <laughs> You're too late. You may have defused the bombs, but your quarry is long gone.
Federation Spy Master. What a title, Spy Master. That's his title. Tell me what happened to the man you broke out of the prison and this won't get any worse for you. What do you think of this Col this Col Kagan? He's not talking. Probably trained to withstand torture. We're not going to get anywhere with this one. Start a search and uncover how the prisoner escaped. KDF security is on their way. They can take this Bachtag to the infirmary. Explore the safe house to find how the prisoner escaped. Says this way, doesn't it? Nope, it does not say this way. It actually says this way. Oh, there he is. A long range transporter or something. Federation technology here. According to the logs, the last transport was to the shipyard in orbit above Kronos. If we don't hurry, our prisoner could easily secure passage out of the system. I recommend we go to the shipyard at once. Now we get to go see the Klingon shipyards. We're just getting a tour of everything. It's really cool. Go to the transporter room. So this shows us how you get to the transporter rooms on Kronos. Yeah, this is a... This is actually a kind of a lengthier tutorial than I thought it was going to end up being. And it's because of all this stuff here on Kronos you have to do to follow everything and learn where you're going and... Oh, the lag is real terrible. Oh, crap. Look at that lag, that rubber banding. I'm having terrible rubber banding and lag right now. Step onto the transporter pad and instruct the transporter... We're going to the shipyard. The transporter here can take you to the shipyard, the Klingon Academy. Or direct you back to your ship where you can purchase new ships when you achieve the appropriate rank. So this tells you, you know, you can get new ships and all that. Okay, we need to talk to the used ship salesman or optional customize your ship at the tailor. So this gives us a chance where we can actually customize our ship now too. You interested in buying a slightly used ship? I'm more interested if a, if a human just passed through here that fits this description. Uh, yes, just minutes ago. I sold him a shuttle. He seemed in a rush to leave. Didn't think anything of it. I assume he's wanted by the KDF? In a manner of speaking, yes. I need to track him down. Lucky for you. I kept a copy of the transponder code of the shuttle he just bought. And I will give it to you at no charge. In fact, since you're going after such a dangerous fugitive, let me throw in this technical manual. The spec should help your tactical officer to be able to eke some better performance out of your ship. Just to show you which side I'm on. Kipla! And glory to the Empire, right? <laughs> You're smarter than you look. Captain, we found the transponder signal. Standing by to beam you aboard and begin pursuit. You can train your bridge officer in a new skill. So this is cool. This is actually telling us how we can train our, uh, our bridge officers and like you know give them a new skill like I could do emergency power to weapons one perfect so you can go through all that and read that let's uh optional here you can also customize your ship so this gives you a chance to do that in inside the tutorial here um, not manage ships but customize ship so we could uh, customize our starship and like select a different thing like look at that TOS D7 skin boy that looks nice that looks really cool actually like I could take that won't cost me anything to do that so I'm gonna do that okay now we need a beam to our ship this tutorial is pretty complex a lot more than I thought it was gonna be uh, contact Warden 
Gazan. Oh, that's actually I'm done. I'm disappointed he was able to get off Kronos, but not surprised. He's a slippery one. Do what you need to do to bring him back. You have his warp trail, so I begin with that. Got an RCS accelerator. There Congratulations, is Lieutenant. Whoa. A lot of things are happening right now. I think we actually might be past the tutorial at this point. I'm not sure, <laughs> because we've pretty much got opened up to the entire game now. We are Lieutenant Five, so I mean we're we're not we're past Warrior now. We're into Lieutenant stuff. We're we're halfway to the next rank already, so we're actually moving pretty fast here with this. I'm not sure if it's just not already adding missions for me here. It might be. Because I have like everything is popping for me now. So let me just see real quick in the mission what the mission log looks like. Oh yeah. We're like playing missions now. I think we're way past the tutorial. I think. Well, maybe I'm not. Maybe Empire is all tutorial stuff. I tell you what. I could be past the tutorial now. I could absolutely be past the tutorial now and we're into the regular missions. But, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to keep on playing until I guess I get to a good stopping point. Maybe after Friend or Foe. Because I, I think Warzone is like the first set of real missions. The only thing is we're Lieutenant 5. We're going to be all the way up to the next rank by then. We're going to be level ten, uh, 10. So I'm not sure. Surely the tutorial can't take you that far into ranking. So I'm confused on actually what the what's the tutorial and what is not the tutorial. I don't think we're in the tutorial. I think the tutorial is over at this point. I think I know what's happening. I have that option on where it just adds the next mission automatically. And I should have that turned off. Um, enable, honestly, disable mission auto hail. Well, no. Disable mission auto hail is on. So, so it shouldn't give me the next mission automatically. It should not. So maybe this is part of the tutorial. I don't know. Let's just keep going. If the tutorial's over and now I'm into the regular missions, that's just how it is. This is how you would be playing it too anyway, so... Uh, let's just keep going, because I'm having fun, <laughs> and it all sounds like tutorial stuff. Between systems, combat does not take place in sector space. To open. Okay, let's go to this system down here. It's going to take a while to get there, actually. Click to order your crew to plot a course to your next mission. See, this is all tutorial stuff. It's teaching you how to do stuff. I just don't know if I'm in the tutorial or not. It doesn't say tutorial by this. It does not say tutorial. So I think I'm not in the tutorial anymore. But yet, the missions, that's what confuses me is because you've got Empire. Are, is that part of the, tu the tutorial? Because all this stuff was uh, at the top here. You need to get to board. What do you want? So I really don't know what is tutorial and what's not at this point. I just know flying there is going to take a very long time. So let's transwarp. Sorry if I'm... I'm confused On here, On the front actually. lines of the Klingon Federation <laughs> War, brave captains from both sides battle to defend their homes and gain advantages for their fa- I'm actually Each confused. Death has meaning. Every victory can turn the tide. Captain, these are the, the conflicts that will determine here. the fate what of the What are your quarter. orders? Captain, we've begun the scans. We'll start at a range of five kilocams and work our way out from there. Good. The sooner we find him, the Captain, better. I recommend modifying the navigational beacons in this system to amplify our efforts in locating the prisoner. See, it feels like I'm playing an actual mission now. Like I am not playing the tutorial. I am now playing an actual mission. It's got to be. Beacon modified. Nothing yet. We should modify another beacon. 
Well, I'm going to play this kind of quickly here because if this is not a part of the tutorial, I should probably end the video, but I just don't know. Got him! Establishing a you? communication link I now. am impressed. I thought Doran was the right choice for command. As much as I'm... I don't... You... Let's just get through... Let's just Captain, get through this. We're being hailed by one of the Starfleet vessels. Klingon bird of prey. Our sensors are detecting several feder... So, my, I mean, um, when you play this, you can listen and read all the dialogue yourself, but I, I don't think I'm in the tutorial anymore. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target's shields have failed. Target's shields have failed. Another Starfleet vessel has entered the system. Attention, Klingon ships. We are here on a rescue operation. I don't think that matters. <laughs> Warning, the ship is under attack. We wish to resolve this peacefully, but we will defend ourselves if we must. Uh, I think you're going to have to, because I'm already firing at you. Target's shields have failed. Yeah, this one's a little harder to take down. There's another contact on the scanners. How many ships did Starfleet have in our sector? A lot. <laughs> I can't take care of all of them. I need some help here. Maybe I can take them all on. Target's shields have failed. Both missions can be turned in remotely. Click the icon next. If it was a mission, it was a very small mission. I think it was a mission. We're ready to leave the system on your command. It's very small though, I like it. Yeah, I'm really confused if I'm in the tutorial From now the or not. the heart of Kronos to the frozen wastes of Rurapenthe, Klingons have built an empire that values strength, honor, and skill in combat. To be Klingon is to be a warrior. Fight well, I can... live with honor, die with a blade in your hand. If you I... can do these things, you will live forever in the stories already, uh... and songs of the empire. Okay, 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 enough. Uh, I can already purchase skills, so the fact that I can now purchase skills means I've got to be outside the main, the, the intro tutorial of the game. It is unfortunate that the... Congratulations, Lieutenant. Okay. So that one was a little extra. I probably didn't need to do that, because you can see another new mission has not added itself. So yeah, back here when everything popped back under um, the hunt is on. After the hunt is on, I think that's the end of the tutorial part. Because everything opened up for me then at that part and Space Chase just seemed like a regular mission. And then I know Manhunt will and Fenderfoot will. So we're done with the tutorial. I mean, that's it. We're done with it. There's really nothing else we need to do. That uh, tutorial was very interesting i see now the changes they've made in it for a house divided they um 
added some new cutscenes. They added some new voiceovers. Uh, and the visuals have been upgraded as well. They definitely look better. Um, so in this tutorial, different from the Starfleet Faction tutorial, you become captain because your captain is a traitor, basically. And because of the way the Klingon thing works, you can kill your commander and become commander kind of thing. So um, he did that. And that is that is how we became captain of our own ship. The Jimpok just decided to let us have our ship. So this is way different from how Starfleet Faction starts. And I like that contrast. You do get that Klingon vibe and you get the Klingon feel uh, very good from, this, from this, this tutorial. And it really sets the mood for playing as a Klingon. So there is no better time right now to play as a Klingon than this year. Because as I said, for 2020, Star Trek Online is adding some revamped and updated KDF content throughout the year. And right now, they just added these updates in the tutorial from the update called A House Divided as of June 30th, 2020. And so this tutorial now shows you what that looks like and what those updates look like and how this tutorial plays. And I like it. I think it's great and it's a good start for the Klingon faction. It also seems you can get through the Klingon tutorial faster than the Starfleet tutorial. Uh, if you don't waste a lot of time like I did in talking about things and reading all the dialogue, you could probably blow through this in 30 minutes and get through the tutorial part. So it does move faster than the Starfleet one. Uh, they teach you pretty much everything you need to know about the controls and how to operate everything, except for one thing. They never ever did touch on the different firing modes, attack, uh, defense, and uh, speed and how that affects your performance when you are in space combat. They never talked about that. They did, I think, on the Federation side. They said, put, you, put it in attack mode so you can do more firepower. But they didn't say that on the KDF side. I guess they're assuming you're already familiar with that because you probably roll the Federation character first, but some people don't. So uh, that's just one little, one little quirk there. Um, Otherwise, this was a really good tutorial uh, and good updates to the tutorial as well, and I enjoyed that. So there you go, everybody. That is a complete playthrough now of the KDF or Klingon Defense Force Faction tutorial in Star Trek Online as of now July of 2020. So you see what that looks like here now in July of 2020. Um, if you like what you see, uh, give me uh, a subscribe and a like on this video uh, if you want to see more of these kinds of things I intend to play the other factions as well moving forward so stay tuned and watch that playlist you can see my Starfleet faction playthrough already and then use this playthrough and uh, of course I will be covering all of the Klingon content that is coming out this year as well all the new content so stay tuned for that and uh, I appreciate it thank you for watching stay tuned for the next one Check out Twitter at Brent underscore justice for updates. You can follow me there. Also check out my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Brent justice. This helps support the channel and also allows me to publish more and more videos.